Hey guys, this is Malice, and welcome to this very first episode of Let's Draw. Uh, for this episode, I wanted to start by doing a few mechs. Um, did uh, two in total, I actually started with three. Uh, this first one was uh, sort of like your classic Dreadnought type thing. Uh, the second one, I, I thought about doing a runner and changed my mind and went for this bigger looking thing. Uh, I actually ended up scrapping this one entirely. Didn't like it. It's too similar to the first one. And then the third design I came up with, uh, I wanted to go a bit different, so I came up with this sort of spider esque thing. Uh, it kind of reminded me of the guys in Half Life, in the original Half Life around the intro there, so I kind of turned that one into a bit of a science utility by the end of it. This one's much more of a kind of a war machine type dreadnought kind of thing that you'd, you'd get from uh, you'd get in sort of Pacific Rim, that kind of uh, kind of thing. So it's got big like, laser cannons in its arms and then it's got a couple of uh, machine gun type bolters strapped to it as well and uh, yeah I quite like the way that this one actually turned out. So at the moment just kind of uh, going through and bringing out some of the shapes, main shapes and stuff, not really adding too much in the way of detail, just uh, trying to get uh, the final design idea out of the sketchiness of the original. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with the arms on this one, but uh, I came up with something uh, in a second which kind of went through to the last of it. And then this guy just sat up on top. Figured if this was a utility, he'd be some kind of a worker, so I gave him a, a big heavy helmet and things to wear, and uh, ends up with a high vis jacket and stuff as well. So I figured that was probably best. Um, now, just going through, and now I'm beginning to bring out the details in this, uh, this walker. So this one, this is the the phase that kind of takes the longest. In fact, uh, this entire video uh, took about seventeen and a half hours, start to finish, to record in these two mechs. So it's sped up by about ten thousand percent. So I can fit it into a reasonable sized video for you guys. The uh, just uh, whilst I'm um, going through all this uh, cleaning up side, I'll just give you a couple of uh, technical things. Uh, using Photoshop to do all the work in, I'm not, I don't normally do all the line work in Photoshop. That's one of the reasons that it took me so long. I normally do all my line work by hand and then scan in. Um, but I'm also using uh, my graphics tablet, which is not a very good graphics tablet. It's a Genius F-Pen 350 or something um, and uh, it really is not a very good graphics tablet. In fact it's... I'd go so far to say it's the worst graphics tablet uh, I could ever possibly own. Uh, to give you an example of quite how bad it is, it actually says for Windows Vista written across the front of it. I don't use Windows Vista, nobody uses Windows Vista. There's a reason nobody uses it, because it's terrible. Um, but this uh, graphics tablet was designed specifically for it apparently and uh, it shows because it's not good. It's very very difficult to do a, even a straight line on it. It's like trying to draw a, a line with a bent ruler. You'll get a line but you won't get a straight one. So still kind of just going through bringing in details and stuff into this mech and just uh, having a bit of fun. This uh, this phase I find quite fun. It's long and does take a long long time but it is very fun because you do get to add all the all the little details and pull out things from uh, from the sketch that weren't necessarily there to start with and just kind of change things up and you can see they uh, bring in his um, uh, the joints for the legs. So don't think this would actually work in the real world having uh, mechanics like this but hey you know this isn't the real world this is a sketch I was quite happy with the way that the feet turned out on it
So again, I very much doubt that particular design of a uh, jointed limb for a mech would ever work. It's certainly not practical anyway. Doesn't make a lot of sense. But hey, it looked cool, so I went with it. So now moving on to this uh, utility thing. I, it took me a long time to kind of get the proportions of this right. If, uh, if you were to check the its center of gravity and things, I doubt it would actually end up standing correctly. It would fall over more than likely, just because it's not quite balanced correctly. Um, that back leg, the far back leg, is not not in the right place. I moved it a couple of times. I moved it just there, but um, just still could not quite get it in the right place, so in the end I just left it. Now just working on this guy. His face ended up a bit weird. I'm not happy with the way his head sort of turned up at all. You can see I was just uh, sorting out his anatomy and so forth there just to bring him out and make sure that everything was the correct proportions. Um, but his head, like I say, looks a bit weird. He looks a bit kind of skeletal, almost demonic. So I... I, I, because this is a very large resolution picture, I decided it didn't matter too much because you won't be going to be able to see his head that well. Um, so I just kind of left it. But uh, yeah, just adding a few things into his cab there, sort of a spotlight and a little computer and things for him to use whilst he's doing whatever science things are needed of him. I like I say it reminds me of one of the big. Um, the, the walkers that you see in the intro for the original Half-Life game and um, I think I kind of I modelled it very much on that it almost became a redesign of those for uh, I don't know Half-Life 3 but um, yeah the uh, I, I decided to, to kind of stay with that idea throughout the thing and when uh, it came to doing the colouring, I stuck with the colouring of those so it ended up yellow, like uh, any good utility should be, any good digger type thing should be that kind of colour. So I went with that and uh, figured that it was probably going to be around sort of uh, radioactive material because uh, that's certainly the way they were in Half-Life. So uh, I kind of played on that as well. So we're about eight minutes in. Uh, should probably start on the colouring in a minute. Like I said, I wasn't just here. I wasn't really happy with the way that the hands turned out at first. So I did a couple of redesigns. I ended up with this, which I quite like. It's got a sort of a spiky thing on the front, which kind of worked. And just uh, doing some details on the side. Try and bring that out. Put a couple of safety messages on here, which I quite liked. And then uh, yeah, a couple of fans here and there and try to sort out his head then I separate them out into their own individual pictures and start the colouring uh, this is a technique that's quite common I think is to do a, a white layer on the bottom and which you can just select with your uh, magic wand tool then and uh, use as a, a mask so that you're not going outside of the sketch outside of the picture at all which is very useful for this kind of thing where I, I haven't put a background or anything in, it's not in an environment or anything, it's just an individual picture that I can just drop in on whatever. So did the some of the shadows there, that's on a multiply layer. And then it's just a case of figuring out the low lights and highlights. So you can see here going through I've turned off the under layer there, so this is just the multiply layer, so I can see where the shadows are. And then uh, adding in some highlights. That's on a coloured dodge layer. I can never remember if it's coloured do coloured dodge or coloured burn. But that's the final bit. Tried to play, play with some backgrounds, but in the end, just took them out and got rid of it. Uh, and then the colour layer for this one. So here again, we're doing a little, bit of a mask. The mask took quite a long time because there's quite a lot of intricate little bits on this one. Um, sort of between the pipes and stuff. But once that was done, the colouring actually didn't take too long on this one at all. So there we go, that's the yellow that I was kind of talking about there, and uh, just kind of chuck in some grey bits into there and colour in the pipes. 
And then, again, because um, we were working around radiation and stuff, classic radiation, I decided, should be green. So, common uh, uh, rule of thumb is whatever the colour of light is, is going to be the colour of the shadow as well. So, the shadows are green, and the light will be green as well when I get to doing the highlights as well. And it'll, it should all stand out. There we go. That's, so, that's the final final piece. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, Let's Draw episode. I'm hoping to do m a few more in the future. I don't know what of. Um, so if you want to leave me a suggestion, please do in the comments below, and I'll see what I what wait, what I, I fancy doing for the next one. I don't know how often I'll be able to get these out, but hopefully semi regularly every every few weeks to once a month or so. Uh, I am hoping to get a lot more drawing and stuff done over the next little while, so this is a good way for me to do it, I figured. Invite you along for the ride. Um, but, like I say, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please do leave me a like and a comment down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.